All right, man, so everybody does not know about this new Battle Pass that's coming out for Apex next season. I told you guys I would, I would react to the video you guys sent me, and I will also let you guys know about everything that's going on. Uh, I was trying to let y'all know in stream. Some of y'all in stream yesterday. Apex is just in a, it's in a terrible state right now, but let's go ahead and jump into it, man. Let's get it. I cannot see, I'm legally blind. <laughs> hey everyone, Thornton and Smash here, and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Battle Pass system. Now, as you might have noticed, we went over yesterday all the changes, but there's some stuff going on behind the scenes that some users on Reddit have let us know about, especially those working in the financial sector, which could indicate that Respawn is not going to be under the EA umbrella, at least not for much longer. We're going to go over all of that information. We're also going to go ahead and give out 45 bucks. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe. Without further ado, let's talk about how Respawn may finally be free from EA. So, unless you've been living Living under a rock, you should be pretty aware of the massive changes that Apex Legends is doing to the Battle Pass that has caused a lot of players to be very upset and yeah. very unhappy. And there was a very good post actually put on Apex Legends the other day by a user named BunsBuns22. We're not going to take the name too seriously, but <laughs> he is actually giving us some backstory on him because he worked as an equity analyst covering media and gaming stocks for years. Didn't want to go into specifics, but he gave a great example of Netflix who recently raised the annual pricing because user growth has slowed, mainly because so many users are already on Netflix. But you need to keep investors happy they value stocks based on future cash that the company can generate. We've seen this a ton with EA and Apex Legends because, well, EA has consistently said that Apex Legends is financially underperformed. This is no surprise and he pretty much hit the nail on the head. He went on to say, in regards to Apex, you can see the average player per month Steam figures attached but the player base is the lowest it's been since the launch. If user growth slows or declines in Apex's case, you need to raise the price. They're fully aware this change may drop active users, but they're estimating they'll make up for it on the back end with less people purchasing a more expensive seasonal battle pass. If this change doesn't keep revenue at the same level or higher than the last quarter, they won't really have the additional levers to pull for revenue growth. We've also seen this already. This shouldn't come as any big surprise. We've gotten the new milestone events coming with the Shadow Society event last season, where they went ahead and went back on their promises to no longer make it so the skins were a gambling system back from the Iron Crown Collection event, and well, that returned, and now you have to spend up to $360, you can't get what skin you want, and the reward was a universal heirloom which they were hoping a lot of people would buy. My favorite part about his entire breakdown, though, was that this is overall a really bad sign for the health of Apex Legends. Go figure, we've been talking about this for months now. The game's not going to go away, it'll probably generate close to 15 to 25% of EA's earnings, but it's overall too important to the value of electronic arts. If the Devil Seasonal Battle Pass change doesn't increase quarterly revenue, EA actually might either give Respawn more resources to spark growth, which I think would be what you kind of need to do at this point, and if that doesn't work, they'll look to spin off Respawn, sell it to a competitor, have Respawn buy back the company, or let Respawn go public. Now there's a lot of interesting things about there because almost every one of those scenarios, if we don't buy the Battle Pass, seems absolutely fantastic. Giving them more resources would be absolutely fantastic because, yeah. of, well, the last Great couple game, of man. months slash years, we've seen Respawn canceling Star Wars FPS games and the Titanfall single player project where you could play as Cuban Blisk. That was completely scrapped. Well, at the same time, Respawn is opening a third studio to keep Apex Legends going for 10 to 15 years, yet none of the resources seem to be pulled into that, or at least it seems to be downsizing as they are laying off QA teams and more and more. Hell, at this point, there are complaints that even if we do pay the $20, we still don't have servers in South Africa, which my editor novella is always on. People are always like, wow, he's playing on such high ping. He's obviously cheating. No, the dude's in South Africa. His <laughs> gameplay is caught playing on different servers because he can't get one locally. So how are you going <laughs> to ask us to pay more money when at this point, they're obviously not going to put it back into the game. They're going to go ahead and use that to drive up stock price further and make investors happy. The only way we can really truly make a statement is if we don't buy it, so it forces EA to do something. EA, for the longest time, has actually been talked about by being a merged company with Disney slash Amazon and many others. And I would like to see something where EA was no longer fully in charge. I don't know if Disney or Amazon is the answer either. Personally, I would love to see Respawn be completely on their own. I mean, you can even look at the creator of the Titanfall franchise, Respawn Entertainment himself, Vincent Pella, when asked if he's going to make another Titanfall game. We don't know yet. The game is critically a huge success. We're really happy with the reviews and the positive sentiments. I think it's pretty safe to assume we'll explore more of it. EA might have announced more. Devin. And then Devin Bennett, who is a publicist for Electronic Arts, interjected saying, what we've said is we're committed to the franchise. And Zampella, the creator, once again said, so whatever the f that means, which I think is absolutely <laughs> hilarious. And there's obviously not a ton of love between the Respawn team and the EA team. Not that there's money left at Respawn at this point, as most of them have gone on to Gravity Well and other studios to create their own projects. The Respawn team we have now currently is not the same one that was there when the game was created. That being said, the ones that were there when it was created obviously were under EA influence to a degree. 
Chad Grenier, back when Season 7 launched, actually saw a brand new Battle Pass system implemented. And it went horribly, horribly wrong. He said there were more changes to the Season 7 Battle Pass planned. Starting today, we're reverting the difficulty of the daily challenges to Season 6 levels while keeping the number of stars rewarded the same. And then he gave a chart. And what I think is really important about that is what they're offering us right now is most likely not going to be the final offer. They're going to backtrack after seeing the humongous backlash and then try to meet us in the middle, which was probably their plan all to begin with. We've seen this actually a lot with not only Apex Legends, but other video games where they come out with this horrible monetization system, then backtrack where we still get screwed and say, well, now everyone's happy and we should 100% not let that happen either. Right now, apparently they are collecting feedback, which I hope no one's giving good feedback on this new battle pass system. We need to stand up very strong as a community and say, no, enough is enough. If no one buys the battle pass, and I mean, there are always going to be whales that do, but if enough of us don't and make our voices heard, there will be ramifications for EA respawn in either the team being able to buy back its own studio, EA giving it more resources. It's all better for us if we do not just give into this slot that they're feeding us. Yep. Hell, we're still waiting on dive trails for the original prestige skins, yet they are asking us to spend <laughs> more money on a battle pass. Well, we're still waiting for quality of life fixes. There's still the cheating issue. There's still there's no servers in South Africa. Old cosmetics aren't being caught up to the newer ones like the Octane Prestige and the Loba Prestige. Yeah. People can continue to play Apex Legends. I don't see a fundamental problem in that. But no one should be going out and spending the extra money yeah. on this Battle Pass Insane, system, which is clearly geared to just invest more money into their stockholders. And none of it is going to come back to us whatsoever to help the health of the game. I really do hope that this post by the Reddit user ends up coming to fruition and the community as a whole can maybe do something like No Apex August and actually Seriously. make EA realize that we are not going to be bullied around by their horrible microtransactional systems. Let me know down below, what are your guys' thoughts? Would you like I to agree. see Respawn completely broken away from EA? Or do you think that EA with its monetary value pumping into Respawn is actually keeping the game afloat? Also, don't forget to check out this video right here by my editor Novell who does amazing Apex Legends content. And until next time, everyone, keep slaying in the Outlands. I'll see you out there. Thornton. 1,000% 1, 1, agree with you, bro. I've been saying this for the longest time, man. The only way we're going to get changed in Apex is if people stop spending money. Now, this goes to the big-ass streamers, the big YouTubers who play the game. It, it starts with them because they're still out there. They're doing all this complaining. The game's ass. The game's laggy. Cheaters everywhere. But yet, you see these big streamers, big YouTubers, whatever you want to call them, man. They're still buying the fucking $700 heirlooms. They're still spending money on the game. They're just, they're not setting an example for their audience. So when you have a big audience and when you're a big streamer, YouTuber, whatever you want to call it, man, and you're, you're criticizing the game and you want changes in the game, but yet you're still fucking spending all this money on the game. You're not setting a good example. It starts with not spending money. Playing the game is different. I feel like we can play the game and, and, and not spend money to and make a point. And I've been saying this for the longest time, man. Same thing with like NBA 2K. They release the same game every year. And the only way it's going to change is if you stop spending money. Now, this battle pass, if you don't know, uh, in Season 22, I guess they're going to give us the first one for free. Then the, and then on the second split, the battle pass is $9.99. But going forward, the first split is going to be $9.99. The second one's going to be $9.99. So it's going to be a total of $20 uh, to buy the battle pass. No more, no, no more Apex coins. Now, if Apex had fixed this game, there's no lag issues. The cheaters is, 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 is coming you know, to a conclusion. They're getting, getting on track on fixing that. Uh, and then they're just fixing up the minor stuff that's in the game. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having a battle pass. I wouldn't mind spending money on 20 bucks on the battle pass to support the game that I actually do love. I wouldn't mind that. However, this game is in terrible shape. And to charge $20 for a battle for a battle pass is just absolutely ridiculous. The the, the game is always lagging. And it's not my internet, because I got 100 up and 100 down by Google Fiber. So it's not my internet. It's, it's the Apex servers. They're just absolutely awful. Uh, you guys still, I'm still getting bullet, no, bullet, no registration on shots. Uh, I'm getting the, the matchmaking is, it's gotta be at an all time low, at least for me. Cause I swear. And I, you know, I hate talking bad about people, but man, when I'm playing ranked, I feel like I'm playing with switch players. Like for real. Like if you in my streams and you watch, you just see the teammates I get. You're just like, Hmm. I don't know what's going on, but we need to get to the bottom of this because matchmaking is not it. So we got lag issues. We got matchmaking. We got cheaters. We got bullet registration not working properly. It's just so many things going wrong with this game. And I don't understand why people are still buying buying, 
buying things to support it, man. I love Apex. I love it, man. I can play it every day. I've been playing it since day one before it had seasons, man. I love the game, and I want to support it, but I will not spend money on a game that they're not appreciated for. They're like, they're not fixing nothing, and then they're trying to charge us for a battle pass. So I hope what Thor just said, we can come together in August. You know, we got to no spend money on Apex because that's the only way we're going to get a change in this game, man. So I want y'all to spread the word. All right? No more spending money on Apex. You see big streamers, big YouTubers, big whoever, man. They out here complaining and about the game and all this and all that. But yet you see them out there spending all the money for the new heirlooms and prestige skins and all this. Tell them to stop being hypocrites and stop spending money. Tell them I said it. I said it. I said it. Because that's the only way we're going to get changed. Stop spending money on the game, man. That's the only way the change is going to happen. So, I just ran it a little bit. Post your comments down below, man. Let me know what you guys thought, man. If you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you hit that like, drop the sub, man. Turn them notice. We'll be doing videos daily. I will catch you guys on the next one. 100,000 subscribers this grind time, man. Let's get it.